Hi, my name is John Lawton with MachinesUse.com. Today we're going to be talking about Haas rotary tables. Seems I get the question almost every day. Uh, is it a brush? Is it a brushless? What kind of brushless is it? What kind of rotary table is it? Well, we're going to try and help you identify by looking at them and looking at the machines what type of rotary table you can or can't use with the Haas machine that you have. Now, if you have a servo control box that goes with your rotary table, you can use it that way, but then it's truly only getting an M function signal from the machine to tell the box how far to go. It's not truly using fourth axis. We're talking about a four axis or fourth and fifth axis machine in a Haas. Some rotary tables down here we can look at. This is a Haas. It's a dual rotary table, but it's called an HA5C. It's a 5C rotary table. It takes 5C collets. Happens to have little air closers instead of levers to close these collets. It's a dual, but people are going to say, what machine does it fit? Well, this has one cable. The one cable, this drives one motor, driving both rotaries. They both go the same. It doesn't need two motors, but it has one cable with this circle of pins. Zoom in on this. See this tape? Black, black shroud, cable, one. There's not a second cable with it. Other indication is it's bred. Most of the red ones, unless they've been rebuilt into some other, something else and put a new drive in, will be brush drive. These are the older brush truck drive. Some people say 19 pin. I don't count the pins. It's just this configuration, if you can see it, in the end of this. You might want to walk up here. Or can you see it? Okay, good. That would be a brush drive machine. Sitting right here on this, say you had a machine that was a brushless drive machine and you knew it, but you needed to bri you had one of these brush drives. If you had this, this is a Haas converter. You zoom way in here. These two cables, two cables mean brushless. There'll be one larger cable interface and one smaller cable interface, just like that. That's brushless. If you zoom right here, it says two CNC controls. So these would go into a machine control that is set up brushless and one coming out to be able to drive an older brush style. So therefore you could, in essence, use this to drive a brush drive rotary table with a brushless Haas machine. And those are the brushless came later. To explain myself best, a brush drive is the older drive motors that have the little brushes in them and are their DC drive. The, the, the newer AC drive brushless, which you like are in this, this is a tilting three axis. So this is a five, that's not three axis, this is a two axis, but it has three spindles in it for 5C, so it still requires two motors. One motor to drive this rotary that rotates this way. And you can see it here. Come around. What they did is they took what looks to be an HRT 210, which is what this is, and they fast fasten onto it this row of 5Cs, which then index like this. Rotate this way. So this is a two axis, and it is the two cables for the for, for this drive and two cables for the other drive. So you need cables for each motor. The motor that drives this here and that motor that drives these this way. Each of them have two cables, larger and smaller. Brushless, brushless. So these are the newer AC brushless, then the older style brush. This is the example of a Haas two-axis table. It is a T5C. It's a tilting 5C, so it's a two-axis table. It's a larger rotary table here that rotates this way, this direction, and that is probably made up of an HRT210, and then bolted to it is an HA5C, which rotates, zoom in on this spindle here, like this. There's the collet, it goes this way. So it can tilt and go like this. Two axis table, it's older, it's red, but here's the giveaway. There are only two cables. There are two motors here. A motor for this and a motor for this. So if it were brushless, it would have four cables, two for each. This is brush. It just has that large 19 pin for each. Just like that. So that is a brush drive tilting rotary table. Let's come up. Now this is a Haas TR. 
This is a trunnion table. It's driven from this end here, and this trunnion tilts this way and that way, and then the platen is this way. So it's a two axis programmable trunnion table made by Haas. Now this one has a, mo a drive motor for the tilting axis and a drive motor for the rotary axis, so it requires two cables at least. It has four, meaning it has two cables for each of the drives. And I'm gonna pull this plastic off so you can see it. Now, notice, the collars on these are gray. This is the big littles. I should pull them all off for you here. I'll pull two of them off. See the big little, this is the same big little. So we have, this is a two axis trunnion, brushless, because we have big little for each one, two cables and interfaces for each one, but there's a gray, I guess you're gonna call it cowling here, instead of being black. All the other cowlings were black. That means this has a Sigma 5 motor. So when we talked about brushless before, when they had the black cowling, they were brushless, they were technically a brushless Sigma 1. That started to matter later when they came out with the Sigma 5 motors, which this one has, Sigma 5. Because it's gray, here's the black interface, this little cowling. Two cables, brushless. Two cables with gray, brushless Sigma 5. So now we're standing here in front of a Haas machine. This happens to be a Haas VF3 SSYT. This machine is equipped with fourth axis drive and fifth axis drive. You need to be able to see that on the side of the machine to be able to tell. So come on with me beside the machine. We're traveling to the rear of the machine where the electrical cabinet is here. The doors open, doors closed. These are your interfaces that match the cables on the fourth and fifth axis drive. Notice two cables for fourth, larger, smaller. Two, act, two cables interfaces for fifth, larger, smaller. That means, at the very least, it's brushless. So we know that this is a fourth axis and fifth axis brushless drive machine, and that would fit the tables with a brushless drive motor. I do not know if this is Sigma 1 or Sigma 5, unless I can look up the history of the machine and as, as it was built, and then they can tell you. And you can tell whether you need the gray or the black. If it's an older machine, if it's, if it's older than like 2015 or 16, most likely it's going to be Sigma 1. Sigma 5 came around then and later. You might have some overlap because people could select, but it's definitely brushless fourth, brushless fifth. Turn on. So now here we are standing inside the electrical cabinet. It's disconnected, so that's okay. These are the drives in this side of the machine. And they're usually labeled, this is your x-axis drive. I'll show you the bank later, Y. Your z-axis drive, a little larger, because these machines, you have a larger z-axis drive and braking instead of a counterbalance for the head. Then you get to your tool changer and your drives for the fourth and fifth axis. So you've got an A-axis drive and a B-axis drive. The holes that are coming out of are these two, and then this is the tool changer. So this was XYZ. He'll be able to show you, looking right down there, at the A and B axis drives. So that's now, not only does the machine have the plugs on it, it actually has the drives inside, which is kind of important. Sometimes you buy a machine, you don't look inside, and the drive is no longer there. They use it for another drive in a machine. Now I'm going to show you a VF2, it's a VF2 SS, that has fourth axis drive, just a fourth axis drive in it, but it's brushless. So you come up to the side of the electrical panel again. This one's got a little door you can flip open. Boy, this one makes it easy. X, Y, Z, A. The A axis is their fourth. Big plug, little plug. There they are. So that's a brushless fourth axis drive on this machine. So now we're in the electrical cabinet of that VF2SS. Power is disconnected once again. Here are the drives, the X, Y, and Z drive. And then right here on this column, it says A axis. There's the servo amplifier. When I say drive, it'll say servo amplifier. Not. This is the brushless fourth axis or A axis drive for this machine. So it has the drive and the interface. You know it has that as an option. 